Everybody, please excuse my mess. I am back in my cluttered room um, instead of my exercise room because now that is my writing area and I have, have made um, a huge mess and I'm still trying to organize this other room. I am procrastinating on that. Um, I'm going to probably wait until it cools off a little bit. But, um, you know, my elliptical, um, I began with a mini stepper. Um, you know, I bought the cheapest one that um, I could afford um, four years ago now. And um, I wasn't even able to use that at all um, when I first began for probably the first six months. Um, maybe longer, maybe shorter, I can't remember. Um, and it only began with a few minutes per day on it because I was so weak. I mean, I had spent, what, 16 years, about 16 years just sitting around and laying around and losing muscle mass um, and uh, the inability to move because of my auto accident and my chronic pain um, and nerve damage and excuses that I gave myself. Um, so then I, I upgraded to this because using the stepper was eventually too easy for me, and um, which is a milestone because it can be um, a difficult task to do. Um, so that became my main use of cardio. And then I upgraded to some bands um, into my workout because I could not lift weights. Again, no strength, no muscle mass. Um, I just was incapable at that time, or I thought I was, and um, that's it. Now I... I have weights. I have 40 pound weights. Um, I can probably go up now, but um, I just don't have room for anything more. And there's no sense in, in doing anything unless I am attempting to be a bodybuilder. So um, I don't know how to switch this back over to, to my face. So I'm going to hit stop and come back. Okay, so now here I am, and um, just bear with me because I'm just holding my my phone, um, and um, my stand is in a different room. And anywho, um, I have woken up um, every day this week, and um, to discovering that I have lost um, a pound um, every day for the past week. Um, so I am super excited about that. Um, but my point for this video is, you know, I lacked funds when I first began this. I lacked the courage. I lacked the physical strength. I lacked the emotional strength. And um, every day was an excruciating day for me to either blast um, my body was already in so much pain that, um, I mean, there were just some days that I, I went days without showering because, um, you know, the, the pressure of the water in itself was so painful. Um, I didn't like to be hugged on and, um, touched, um, putting on any sort of, um, clothes that were, you know, right on the skin, um, irritated me. So I was always in oversized clothing. So just to move, um, at a fast pace, fast pace, um, you know, exercise why was very, very painful for me. And, um, but I reminded myself that thinking the way that I was, um, you know, reminding myself of my pain and um, just being negative all the time wasn't getting me anywhere. And I needed to either not think about things or I needed to pretend for a little bit that I was somebody else. Um, And I wasn't on Facebook when I began my journey. I was doing everything in secret. I was hidden still. and um, But I found Instagram. And I figured, well, you know, none of my friends are there. Nobody that I know is there. And um, 
I can just hide away and, uh, you know, be me, do me for a little while. And, um, I just began following so many other people who I knew were successful at, um, looking the way they wanted to look. But I was drawn to people who were also sick. Um, and I began following this one lady who was a cancer survivor and um, I discovered that she was a three time cancer survivor. And I'm like, look at her. She is moving. She just got done with chemo and she is now exercising a few days later. She just got done with a major surgery and as soon as she can, she's out there exercising. She has a, a terminal illness and look at her. She is living her life to the fullest. And that is something that I failed to see um, within my own life. I made a video about my son um, and um, I failed to see the passion that he had to just be a little kid with um, all of his health issues. And um, I won't go into too much detail, but my son was really demonstrated this great strength that I failed to ever see when he was here living at home. Um, and it took him growing up and leaving home for me to even um, to notice that. And he is the reason why that I began this journey. He is the only reason that I attempted this because I saw something in him. I saw something that I was lacking and it moved. Um, and again, God used my son to get movement out of me. Um, and I'm thankful that I, I saw that message instead of laying down again and being defeated, um, about life. Um, when he took off because, um, I say take off, <laughs> you know, like he abandoned me and stuff. Um, but that's the trauma that I felt in my heart that my son was gone because I felt that he was just my only, only reason for living. Um, and, um, so please don't take that out of context. Um, kids grow up, um, and they have to move out and live their own lives. And I admire my son for, for everything that he has done and accomplished in his life. Um, and I hope he knows that I am so proud of him. Not just for who he is, but um, the lessons that he has taught me in my life. He has been my one of my angels here on earth, my major angel here on earth. And uh, I thank him. I hope he watches this and I know he's going to get mad that I'm talking about him. Um, but I love him dearly. I love you dearly, Alec. I love you dearly. Um... I guess I'm <laughs> taking the long way about this is that don't find excuses to not do whatever it is you want to do. There's going to be, be hundreds and hundreds of more reasons why you shouldn't accomplish something. And there's probably just one. And that is the greatest reason to accomplish it. It is you are worthy of it. You are worthy of this better life um, and uh, better health. Um, success, uh, peace in your heart, whatever it is that you are attempting to do, you are worthy of it and you need to believe it. Stop focusing on your can'ts, your fears. That is your illusion. And don't make excuses as you can't afford this, this, and this. Find things. Go buy the, the least expensive things to get you by. Um, there's no reason. Go out and walk. Um, these bands, they, they cost nothing. You can get these off of eBay, Amazon, and um, there's no reason. These are where I began. This is what gave me most of my muscle mass and definition and leaned me down back then. And when I really wanted to gain, like in my booty and my thighs area, my thigh areas, I um, increased and used weights. But here I am. I always come back to this. Um, because they work, they work. And if you use them, it works. If you move, it works. If you 
eat according to your your um your views then it works you know i haven't changed my my diet i i eat whatever i feel i want at the time if i am craving a a piece of bread i eat bread if i am craving um macaroni and cheese i i will eat the macaroni and cheese i know now that it is my belief that gets me there and it is the love that keeps me there it is nothing in this world that can ever harm you unless you allow it to harm you and nothing will ever give you success unless you believe in it so um believe in what you are eating that is going to fuel your body and um i will convince you later on that you can't eat whatever it is that you want and again i stress not fast food things like that that's the easy route people don't take the easy route um nourish your body though i mean really seriously the more that you take care of yourself with the proper things um the less you'll have cravings for anything other than the good stuff but with your your belief system that is strengthened with a huge foundation a strong foundation i'll convince you that you can eventually eat whatever it is that you desire and it will not cause weight gain um but right now you're at a very sensitive stage very vulnerable stage so um, please cut out fast food please cut out the sodas and the junk food um, you know what's good for you you know what your body tells you when you eat it how you feel bad cut those out for a little while um, until you are completely strengthened and believe in this system and um, you guys will have it okay so I've already cooled down way too much and um, I'm going to blast and uh, do a bunch of riding today all right, guys. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.